patients can be evaluated by simply measuring the resting ankle pressure, but some patients require stress testing to detect PAD. An extended evaluation of the ankle is obtained by increasing the blood flow through exercise and exertion, accentuating the hemodynamic effect of the stenosis. This procedure is known as stress testing. The exam begins by performing a complete arterial study on the patient prior to exercise. Exercise can be done on a treadmill at one and a half to two miles per hour on a 10 to 12 percent grade for five minutes or less time if not tolerated by the patient due to claudication or leg pain. The ankle pressures are recorded immediately following the test followed by the arm pressures. Record the ankle pressures every one to two minutes thereafter until the pressures return to the pre-exercise level. Other exercise methods include hallway walking and calf raises. Some normal patients may experience a very mild transient drop in ankle pressure following exercise, while others will maintain a normal ABI. A substantial decrease in ABI indicates the presence of disease. An immediate post-exercise ankle pressure of 60 millimeters of mercury or less confirms a vascular cause for claudication. Vascular claudication pain is usually a transient ischemic pain. Post-exercise ankle pressures must be obtained as soon as possible following cessation of exercise. A delay may result in inaccurately high measurements. Be sure to contact your local Medicare carrier to confirm specific requirements for performing stress tests.